Hey friends, we had a question recently pop up. How do you get your existing properties into the LLC structure? Great question, Shreya. It is a great question. You know, a lot of people don't start out with an LLC when they have properties. No, they usually start out with them in their own name. Right, because a lot of times if you're doing some financing to buy these homes, that has to be done in your personal name. It does, and sometimes people also don't know. Exactly. You don't know what you don't know? You don't know what you don't know. Unknown unknowns or known unknowns? It's probably an unknown unknown. Well, either way, at some point, a lot of people worried about the risks associated with real estate investment, mm -hmm. worried about lawsuits, they set up some sort of asset protection structure, which may have an asset protection trust or an LLC. Right. Whatever it is, you end up creating one of these entities and then you have to get those real estate properties into the entity. All right, because yeah. otherwise the entity is just empty and there's no bubble of protection around the property. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think people get really confused. Well, first of all, I wanna say people are out there, they find this investment property, they're like, this is the investment property for me. And they're so excited and they don't wanna wait and like talk to an attorney and get a structure set up. So I feel like this is a lot of times what happens and then they're like, I'm just gonna put it in my own name and then deal with all of that stuff. And then they never deal with that stuff. And then before you know it, they have five properties and then they come to us. And so let's get to some <laughs> answers here, Shran. Okay. I feel like we're just rambling around. All right. So basically to get a property into an LLC or a trust, you have to create a deed that transfers title mm -hmm. from you, the personal owner, into uh, the LLC or the trust. So it's kind of like when you bought the property, one of those deeds was signed. The seller signed it, you, the buyer, signed it as well, and that's what transferred ownership into your personal name. So now you have to do that again. You have to create that legal document. You have to create a new deed mm -hmm. that is going to transfer the ownership from your personal name into ownership into the LLC or the trust. And you gotta file that. You gotta file it with your county. Yep, yeah, and so there's- Make there's, it official. There's people out there who, who just do these types of things. Um, someone like US Deeds, mm -hmm. I think they do attorney drafted deeds in all 50 states. It can be pretty straightforward. There can be some complications. Um, if you do have financing or mortgage on the property, there might be certain restrictions on whether you can transfer the property into an LLC or not. Thanks. That's it. Thanks, Shreya. Thanks, else? Colin. All right. Hey friends, if you just watched our video about how to get your existing properties into an LLC or trust structure, there are some other things to do after you complete and sign that new deed that transfers ownership. One, you need to make sure that you register the new deed with your county recorder. Yeah. At least that's how it is here. Make it at, official in, official. In Washington and I imagine any other state in the country. Mm -hmm. the what else, Colin? Well, Shrela, you want to be sure to let your insurance company know. Oh, for sure. You don't want to give them any excuse to deny your insurance claim if it ever arises. So typically what you're doing mm -hmm. is you are adding that entity, whatever it is, LLC, Trust, you're adding it as an additionally <laughs> an additionally insured to your policy. Mm -hmm. And that's that's pretty much it. And it's important that you do it. It's an important step because you, like Shreya said, you don't want to give them a reason right. to deny your coverage. Yeah, you don't want them to be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. This property is in an LLC. It's not owned by you. And you told us originally denied. it was owned by you. Yeah, denied. Yeah, so after you make that new deed transferring ownership, make sure to do the follow-up work as well, letting your insurance company know and making sure that deed gets filed in the, co in the county. County. Can't speak today. All right, and that's it. Thanks. Peace.